So here with Ellen Bell, who's been a guest speaker in the class uh, for many years on a number of things related to personal risk, contingency planning, risk of threat assessment, and so on. And what I wanted to do was talk uh, with this expert about some specific tactics and strategies regarding the components of a contingency plan. And as you can see on the website, we've got a number of points here, security planning, communications, medical, accommodation, travel routes, and so on. So I'm going to start with the first one uh, in terms of security awareness training. What are some of the things that a person could build into a contingency plan uh, under the heading of security awareness training? I wrote here what to do if scenarios, tactical, being followed, shot, etc. What are some of the Well, one of the most important things to bear in mind is that most Canadian business people, when they go overseas, they think the way they're operating is exactly the same as Canada, mm -hmm. and obviously the, mm -hmm. the reverse is true. So when these executives go out into these other countries, Africa, Central and South America, etc., yeah. they really need to know the security environment they're going into. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to give them security awareness training or inoculation training right. in, in, with regards to that. And that would involve everything from how, how, what to look for, to figure out you're, being, you're under surveillance, okay. uh, to make sure that if you require security, you have the right security. If you need armed security, you make sure you're not getting some cowboys, you just go and get, grab a couple of guns, etc. Right. So the security aspects of this are very important during the initial parts of the planning development stage. Right. So in terms of what the new F scenarios, tactical being followed, let, let's think of an example of a contingency uh, if you think you're being followed. So what would be a thing that you would prepare or plan in advance about? Well, one of the things about, about being followed is the fact that in, in certain countries around the world, because you, you are a, a Caucasian male, it appears that you're obviously very wealthy, otherwise you wouldn't be in this particular country. Right. So people will follow you for numerous things. People may follow you just to rob you, mm. steal your watch and your wallet, etc. Right. But other people may be following you so to see what your pattern is with a view to kidnapping you and, and holding you kidnap and ransom for multiple weeks to get lots right. of money. So one of the, what if scenarios I was thinking of is if you're followed, uh, a contingency could be, does your driver have maps or GPS or files to give alternate routes of how to get to your destination, those type of things? One of the important things when using drivers in foreign countries is when you come down through the depart uh, the arrivals area, mm -hmm. there's a guy standing there with your name on it. How do you know who that guy is? The first thing you have to do is establish who this person is because this person could be there with a view to kidnapping you. Just because he's got his name on a piece of paper doesn't right. mean that he, he's there for you. So you have to have a code word or a password. So he goes over right. and he says, my name is Arturo, and you say, it's been a lovely day today, and he says, yes, but it rained this afternoon. Right. Then you know you've got the right driver. So even though we may see it in the movies, in reality, that is the fact, some of the things that people do. Mm -hmm. um, now, the other thing about uh, security planning is the whole thing about K&R. Uh, proof of life, survivability tactics. You mentioned this in class one time, just being the gray man. I wondered if you could explain what you mean by that. Well, one of the, one of the most important things to do is when you're out and about, particularly when you're not in business meetings, if you're mm -hmm. going, if you, you know, be assume a tourist role, you've got to be very careful in what, what taxis you get into, who you talk to, what are people's interested, in, you know, whether people are interested in you, etc. Uh, depending on the country, I usually go into a country and I usually go to my meeting, stay in my hotel, maybe have ho uh, dinner in my hotel or even have some of my meetings in my hotel, mm -hmm. therefore mitigating any, any risks I may have by leaving my hotel on my own. Right. Um, proof of life, uh, survivability tactics, etc. Um, let's, let's deal with the proof of life thing. What are some things that people could have as contingencies in advance? of a scenario where they are uh, kidnapped to communicate that they are indeed the person? Well, we, we, we call them executive or management pro formas and what happens is you, you list a list of questions that only you would know the answers to and the answers are already on this piece of paper. Like my dog's so first name? That, that, that's right, or so where you got married, your, 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 your favourite holiday vacation or where you went on vacation last year. Right. Right. And then the answers to these are obviously on your performer. Right. And then what happens is someone will ask you you know, ask the kidnapped victim where, right. where he went on vacation last year, and then they, then they will, the kidnappers will then ask you as the kidnapped right. victim, and you turn around, and if you want everyone to know you're okay, you get the actual right place. If you don't want them to know, for whatever reason, you just get the wrong right. vacation address. So in terms of a contingency then, then this would be a good thing to sort of in advance, because if the executive was wealthy and went to several places and couldn't remember, was grabbed, and someone said, okay, where did you go on vacation? Yeah. He said, France. And 
he couldn't remember that it actually went to the Caribbean first, and that would confuse the people right. watching the video. So they've got to be simplistic. They've got to be things you will never forget, such as the, the, your wife's birthday, yes. your children's b birthday, your children's university they're currently at. Things that you can't right. make mistakes with. Because you're right, some people do do right. that. So I could say my daughter's at Harvard when she's really at Oxford. Yes. They would know something bad had happened. That's right. Okay. Um, so other survivability tactics. Um, sometimes in North American society, we sometimes get out of a bad situation by being bluffing ourselves, trying to be stronger than we are. But in terms of a K&R situation, you recommend the opposite. You talked about the gray man. Yeah. Well, by being the gray man, what will happen is if when you're kidnapped, if you fight back, you'll get hurt. And really, when you initially get kidnapped during the induction, mm. if anything goes wrong, they will kill you. Mm. And they'll look for somebody else. So you, you, you've got to fight back a little bit. But then once you, you, you've been removed from the kidnap area and you're now, in, in, uh, and you're now being held in communicado, that's the time not to be the big guy who's, who's got a black belt in karate mm. and start staring everyone down. You adopt the grey man, whereby you don't say anything. You look away from these people, you mm. look at the ground and things like mm -hmm. that. Right. Uh, who responds and who does what? You mentioned uh, in the class that this was important to know uh, from your home country's company in response to you being taken, who is responsible for getting the money, communicating, who makes decisions, that this should be sorted out in advance. You because kidnap, under stress, they'll make the wrong decision. That, that's right. A kidnap and ransom plan should be developed long before anyone gets kidnapped. And the chances are 90% of companies will never meet their kidnap and ransom plan. Mm -hmm. But if they don't make these plans and they don't talk everything through before executives and managers start traveling mm -hmm. to these foreign countries and they get kidnapped, the problem is mm -hmm. you don't have a plan. Right. 